So we were speaking last time about the Benoni. The Benoni is the in-betweener. And he's a person who uh, who doesn't, uh, yeah, he doesn't do Averot, so he's not called Rasha, but he still has, he still has thoughts of doing Averot. His uh, Yetzer Tov wins, and he doesn't do the Averot, but it's a very big struggle for him. His Moach and his Lev, his brain and his heart, have a little bit of a disconnect. His brain says, don't do it. Mo- Lev says, uh, do it. His desires say, do it. And uh, it's a big balagan inside of him. And then he passes the test. But it was very difficult. And that's why Rava, Rava said he's a Benoni. Rava and the Gemara is Benoni. is Sadiq is Sadalam. No. He could testify. I didn't reach the level of Sadiq where there's no Yesara inside. Uh, right? Uh, he didn't reach that level where his uh, Yesara is gone and only listens to the Yesara Tov. I still also have a, a struggle inside of my soul. That the nefesh shulukid, nefesh ba'amid, animalistic soul versus the godly soul, uh, arguing, struggling. Isn't the bechayi grow? Yeah, bigger than it uh, is, right? So I'm not on that level where I can say like I'm David Damelech, where I have no desires anymore. I'm still struggling. I'm benoni. I'm a benoni, and that's what the Tanya says is a benoni. He says ki amoh shalita lelev. He says because the person's uh, brain is usually what's in control of the heart, the animal. The cow, right, is, is, uh, his brain and his heart the same. Uh, the same, uh, they're parallel to each other. Uh, he, does, he doesn't use one more than the other. They're both equal to him. But a person, he stands up straight. It's supposed to be brain on top of the heart. You, the brain controls, right? So he says that, um, that, uh, that the person is able to be able to be able to he says, every person has the ability to pass the test. All you have to do is use your brain over your heart. That's why we said learning Torah is the greatest misma. Because if you don't learn why your vegetables are good for you, why would you ever, ever eat the vegetables? You would never eat it. But once you have knowledge, knowledge is power. You learn about why it's important and you start doing it. So when you learn Torah and learn about the mitzvot, how important they are, you start doing them. When you learn about the Averot, how bad they are for you, you start not doing them. So therefore, a person has to always make the heart, the heart be listening, listening to his brain. And that way he'll overcome. And never, says the time, never should a person think, I can't pass this test. There's no way I can do it. It's impossible. I give up. If a person got put in a test, that means that Shem believes in you and you could do it. Right, so therefore, uh, that we say in uh, the Zohar says the explanation of uh, according to Sod, what Modani is. He says Modani lefanecha menechay v'kayam shechazar tabi nishmati mechamla rabai munatecha. So what what is a rabai munatecha? We have great faith in you. That's one explanation. Hashem, we have faith in you. We give you like you give a deposit to somebody. Never did we give Hashem uh, my neshama, and I got Abraham's neshama in the morning. And I say, Hashem, Hashem, this is not my neshama. Why are you giving me somebody else's neshama? He always gave it to us the same. How we gave it to him, he gives it back. And he gives us the show better. He, he polishes it. He makes it nice, brand new, fresh. You don't feel tired, right? But the Zohar says deeper. The Zohar says, Rabbi Munat, not we have great faith in you. You have great faith in us, Hashem. Rabbi Munatecha, you have faith in us that we did Averot yesterday. And you still give us our neshama today. You have faith in us that you're going to trust us. That you're going to think that we're going to pass. Every single day Hashem believes that we're going to pass the test today. And He gives us Neshama again, even though you messed up yesterday. And the Malachim say, why? Let him die in his sleep. He messed up yesterday and the day before. The... What do you think he's going to do today? Of course he's going to fall today. And Hashem said, no. I gave him a Nefesh I gave him a godly soul. He has Torah. He has Misvot. He can overcome. I believe it. He just has to know it. He has to utilize it. He has to believe in himself. He has to study Torah. And then he'll be able to overcome. But the person cannot, he cannot give up. What's the 50th gate of Tumah? 50th gate of Tumah is Yehush, giving up. If you give up, you'll never come out, you'll never fix. As long as you want to, you can still fix. You know the famous Rishos Salanter, Allah Shalom. He was walking around late at night thinking in, in his thoughts, and he saw a light on in one of the stores in the, in the, in the market. He says, who's in the market at this time? He goes and he sees the shoemaker, and he's fixing the shoe by the candlelight. He says, what are you doing here? He says, the candle didn't go out yet. As long as candle is burning, I can still fix. So he got, oh, oh big Musa in that moment. That's it. He got a huge, for the next uh, rest of his life, he was saying the same message over and over again. As long as you're alive, you can still fix. So Salanta also said, you have to focus on what your ma'alot are. A lot of times when you do cheshbon nefesh, when you do calculation in your soul, people focus on what I did this wrong, this wrong, that wrong, this wrong. Person has to also focus on what I do good. 
and what, what your skills are and what your powers are. Imagine you come and you call, build a guy, you bring a guy to redo, uh, remodel your kitchen. So what does he bring? He brings uh, 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 only things to break. He breaks everything and they say, okay, no. So, so where's the stuff to build? Where's the bricks? Where's the caulk? Where's the this? Where's the that? Cement? Where's the... No, I don't have any of those things. I only come to break. Only come to break? You have to build. What do you mean? So he says, if a person only breaks himself, he only says bad, 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 bad. He doesn't know what his tools are to build. So you're only breaking yourself. Where, how are you going to build instead? You have to have, know what your tools are to build. In order, don't just break. It's uh, the melacha and shelichot Shabbat is the listor al menad livnot. It's not only listor. Listor al menad it's to break in order to build, on condition to build. So you have to also uh, remind yourself what your skills are in order to give yourself a boost to build instead of just breaking. So he perush, kmo shaor yesh lo itaron shlita memshala al choshech, shemerat or gashmi doche arbe mina choshech, shenit chemi meno meila meila. He says that a person has to know. That uh, just studying a little bit of Torah, a little bit of the spiritual light, a little bit of taste of the good stuff, will be able to push away a lot of darkness. Why does a person always fall to Yitzhara and the Klippa? It's because you didn't really taste the good stuff, right? What did David HaMelech say? Ta'amu, ur'u, kitovu. Just taste it, just do it, just try it, you'll see, it'll change you, it'll, it'll, it'll speak to you. Imagine you see a guy in the street, you say, hey, come to the Net Minyan Gemara class, come to Nez, learn Gemara with us. Why, why should I? It's so much fun, it's good, it's amazing, you're gonna feel it. You say, why? Explain to me how, what, what's so special? How do I explain to you? I don't know how to explain it. Just come, just, you're gonna see, you're gonna sit, you're gonna enjoy. That's what David Melch says. Just tamur, oh, you go and taste, you'll see it's good. I have to explain to you why a steak is good. It's very hard to explain how it's steak. I don't know, just try it, you'll see it's good, taste it, it's fine. So therefore, a person has to know that they want, I wanna pass, overcome the klipa. I don't have the tools, I don't have the ability, it's very hard for me. So you got to go and taste some juicy spirituality and you're going to see a little bit is going to push away a lot. How? How does it do it? Just try it. Just do it. You're going to see it's going to work. Okay, obviously there is a way to explain it, but it's deep. It's not in one second you understand it. So a person has to go and try it on its own. People think that you, if you listen to these gurus, you listen to these uh, self-help videos online about meditating and about uh, releasing your trauma and about uh, you know uh, how to, how to, how to become uh, a better uh, you know businessman and how to how to go and uh, you know uh, accept your all these things. It's very nice what they teach. A lot of a lot of related things to the Torah, but a person has to know the real Torah, Chokhmah, Elokim, Avakadosh Baruch it pushes away, number one, pushes away all the klipa. So a person wants to be, not be in negative thinking. A person wants to remove himself from anxiety. He wants to remove himself from uh, from depression, all those things. So you could go and take, maybe go to a psychiatrist, take some uh, say, take some uh, medicine, you go to some help groups or whatever it is and talk about your problems and use the tools that, uh, you know, uh, the, the, the CBT and all this therapy that people want to use, right? But really a person wants to remove himself from all negative things, Number one place you should go to is Chokhmah of Hashem, the Torah Kedusha, because the Chokhmah, the Nefesh Elokit, is what pushes away the Klipa desires and fallacies of Nefesh Bahamit. So therefore, uh, a person wants has anxiety, what do they prescribe you if you have anxiety? They give you serotonin, right? So instead of serotonin, you should go and take what? You should take two vitamins of, uh, of Emunah. And you have to realize that uh, anxiety means, I want to control everything. And, it's not, and things are not going my way. I have anxiety, par par. I can't think straight. But if a person says, everything's in Hashem's hands. It's not in my hands. What do I have to worry? I did my best. Hashem does the rest. The guy says, what? You're not nervous? What do I have to be nervous about? You know, Israelis, how they speak? <speaking in Hebrew> People speak to them. They think, this guy's a looney tune. No. He's hooked up. He's connected to Hashem. He has no anxiety. He's... he's he has IV of serotonin from Hashem inside of him, flowing in his veins. You have a guy who's depressed. What do they give a guy who's depressed? They give him uh, dopamine. Dopamine. They give him, take prescription of dopamine. It has side effects, whatever, antidepressants. So what happens? You don't need the dopamine. You just go, what? You go and you, go and you have, you have uh, realizing that, uh, that you have to serve a Kaddish Baruch Hu and be thankful. When you're thankful and you're grateful for what you have and you realize how much Hashem gave you, you naturally yourself will give yourself dopamine. That's why to be happy, you have grateful for what you have. If you're grateful for what you have, the Torah says what? 
You have dopamine flowing in your veins nonstop every second. You don't need all this prescription. You don't need all this therapist. You don't need all this. But people depressed and exam my my Chobudzi, oh oy ve, oy me, oy this. It's because why? They don't have emuna and they don't have Torah, they don't have Hoda'a, Yehudi. It means to be grateful to admit to Hashem, thank you for what I have. And if you don't do that, you don't believe that Hashem is in control. And you don't know, grateful for what you have, so you're going to be anxiety, you're going to be depressed, you're going to run to the doctor and they're going to make you go like this. Till, till, till you get tired and you fall down and then they find another guy to do it. So first, be very careful. You need Torah and Emunah. I remember a walk in Rahman Kunei, Alam Shalom. He used to tell a guy he was depressed. He was in the yeshiva. He used to be like this, Rabbi, I'm business. I lost the money. What am I going to do? So he said to me, listen, you don't feel well. Take, instead of, take two, they used to, people used to say, take two Tylenols, go to sleep and call me in the morning. He used to say, take two Yakut Yosefs, take two Yakut Yosefs, read it, and then call me in the morning. That's what he used to tell them. He used to say, you have to go and read Yakut Yosef, you will learn us some Torah, get some Emunah, realize you have to be grateful for what you have, and that's it, you'll be fine, don't worry, take two pills of, uh, of Torah vitamins. Asher etzona, anim shon levada ba'ir, litabesh tosha levushe, aniskarin le'el, v'chol aguf, kulot kiriska le'el, shem achshava dibu ma'aseh, taryag mitzvot, Torah kiriska le'el. It says, and that way, the nefesh ba'elokit can be in charge of the city. Each person is like a little city. And, uh, and if you give the, the tools to the Nefesh Elokit, which is Torah Kedusha, then he'll be able to be in charge. Alpha Piken, and even though the Benoni does this, Benoni doesn't listen to the Yisara, he's not in the level of Tzadik. Why? He doesn't do sin, so why is he not a Tzadik? It's not a... When you learn Torah Kedusha and, you, and, and, and the Nefesh Elokit wins, it doesn't push away the Klippa Be'etzem. It just makes it a Levush for the Yetzara. It doesn't make it that there's no Yetzara whatsoever. We said Sadarkat Tzadik is Libi Halal Bekirbi, where the Yetzara is, is nothing. It's, it's, it's an Evet to the, to, the, to, the, to the Neshama, to the Nefesh Elokit. But by, when, when a person is Benoni, he doesn't make the Yetzara go away and become... Uplifted like Dusha, like Klipat Noga, where you uplift it and make it like Dusha. He's still there, he's still Tameh, it's just you gave him a lavush, you dress it up. It's like, uh, it's like you know, uh, the, guy, the guy who's, uh, who's smelly and the guy who uh, looks ugly. So we, we dress him up, we put nice clothes on him, we put him a nice bosom, we put him a nice perfume, it doesn't smell so bad. You know, he still really needs a haircut, he still needs, he really needs a spukatsi, uh, he goes to go, he has to go shower, he has to go and take care of himself. But uh, Tzadik, he, he, he gave him a haircut, he showered him, he's clean. But the Yetzara and the Benoni, he's still there, he's still Yetzara. Okay, you dressed him up a little bit, you made him uh, do what you said. But it's not mainly 